Um, I'm going to take a little personal privilege here for a moment. Um, in the work that's been done for the Memorial Garden, the Columbarium, the gazebo, uh, the car room, and uh, the educational space, you know, as a pastor, sometimes you're blamed for things you didn't do, so I'm going to take credit for something I didn't do. <laughs> Isn't the weather wonderful? <laughs> it's the thing we were, all, we were worried about with this. Uh, we have so much to be thankful for in today in the dedication of this space. Um, this is, as I spoke about in the sermon, this is sacred space. A place for reflection, for remembrance, for a binding of oneself to God and to the memory of loved ones. Uh, members of the committee who've steered this project uh, can speak with some detail, and they'll be doing that in coming days and weeks. But we do gather to make sacred this space, which is already holy. So I invite you to join with me in our call to worship, which is in our insert. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Happy are those who live in your house ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, and it is hard from the highway to sign. They go from strength to strength. And God of gods will be seen in Zion. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God that live in the tents of wickedness. <clears throat> o Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts to you. The steering committee that has helped make this space possible, I want to express great appreciation to, um, and that they can answer some of your question in coming days of how we will use this space in uh, located spots located here in the ground where loved ones can have their ashes interred. As you can figure out, we're doing this biblically. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, mm -hmm. Part of that is a remembrance that in the gospel of Jesus Christ is our faith <coughs> and is our hope. The committee that has steered us in our work, uh, and also the back in the back is a scattering garden for those who would like to scatter their ashes to go there. The steering committee, and I'm going to ask them to wave wherever they're located. Catherine Satterfield. Where's Catherine, thank you. Bob and Helen Uchek. Pat Kidd. Pat. Roseanne Johnson. And George Doty. Where's George? George, we have to do something first. If you will come step forward. If anybody looks at, at George's hands, there may be some bruises and scars. Most of the stones placed out here, he placed. Much of the woodwork in uh, the gazebo is his. Uh, he is, with this wonderful team of people, have produced a gift for this church for generations to come. Thank you, George, and all of you. Uh, they are able to answer in far more detail than I can some of the plans for this space. Also, thank you to those who helped make possible this space with the planting of the plants that we have here. In coming days and weeks, there will be policies and plans uh, that will be really shared with the entire congregation about how this space will be used uh, as a place of remembrance, a place of thanksgiving. And one of the things that I wanted to do is to find, in this case, an appropriate hymn and the great thing is I can't leave any hymn, so um, where's why? All right, let us join together in this hymn of praise for all the saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who leave our faith before the world confess, thy name.
included in our prayer of dedication, I'm going to give the committee that sponsored this an opportunity to say anything that they want to. They're available to talk of the passion that they have for this place and uh, the celebration of this day as we honor brothers and sisters who now walk with the Lord. So let us pray. God of all eternity, we dedicate this memorial garden and columbarium to your glory in joyful celebration of the lives of your people who at the end of service in the earthly church find their rest in you. May their witness continue in this place, encouraging those who follow, that all may come at last to the home prepared by Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Give us your peace in Christ Jesus, that we may live for him untroubled and unafraid. And as we dedicate this place, O oh God, we rededicate our lives to the service of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever.